In Season 4 episode, Cabin Fever, Richard Alpert is seen testing a five-year-old John Locke in the early 1960s. The test that Richard conducts is very similar to the process carried out by Buddhist monks when they search for the reincarnation of the Dalai Lama. The monks present objects that the Dalai Lama used in his past life in order to ascertain if the child they are speaking with is, in fact, his holiness reborn. If the boy chooses the correct items, he is taken to study the Buddhist Sutra to relearn knowledge accumulated in previous lifetimes in preparation for his future spiritual leadership. The Lost Writer's Room no doubt took inspiration from this real-life Buddhist tradition, and it is not the first Buddhist concept to feature in the series. So, the objects that Richard presents to young Locke are the objects that old Locke will possess in the future. First of all, there is the compass, which represents the time travel. Then there is the vial of sand, which represents the island itself. And finally, there is the Book of Laws, which represents the laws of the island society as established by Jacob and Richard. In other words, it is the symbol of leadership. The baseball glove, the comic book and the knife are simply there for misdirection purposes. An ordinary child might be distracted and drawn to those items on instinct. Richard Alpert is conducting this test for two very specific reasons. The first is to see if the bald man that walked into his camp several years previous was indeed telling the truth. The man who called himself John Locke made wild claims about being the leader of the others in the future and that he was sent back through time by Jacob. Remember, Locke tells Richard. All right. What year is it right now? It's 1954. All right. May 30th, 1956. Two years from now, that's the day I'm born. Tustin, California. And if you don't believe me, I suggest you come and visit me. And so, Richard does just that. This newborn baby is now on Richard's radar. He keeps watch over the development of young John for the next few years. As he stated to Time Traveling Locke, the recruitment process for an island leader tends to start at an early age. We can presume that this is because the island knows who it wants. Leaders are preordained. So, therefore, a child would demonstrate some indication of being wanted by the island. Of being special. This is also why Richard takes an interest in Benjamin Linus. Because young Ben claims to have seen the ghost of his mother on the island. Psychic children are of great interest to the others, as we see with Walt in 2004. But first, Richard Alpert needs to make sure that the man who claimed to be the future leader of the others is indeed this very same little boy that sits before him. The second reason for this test is to see if the little boy demonstrates being special, in some way. Does he demonstrate a communion with the island? Does he have an awareness of his own predestination in some form? One early indicator that the boy does have some psychic sensitivity can be seen in the picture he has drawn. It is an eerily prescient image of his own future, of his fate being inextricably linked to the smoke monster. The test proceeds and young Locke chooses two items correctly. The compass, and the vial of sand. But then he chooses an old knife over the book of laws. For Richard, this casts doubt upon whether or not the boy is really the child version of the John Locke he encountered in 1954. And even if it is the same person, it then calls into question whether or not Locke is special at all. Hence, Richard's disappointment and frustration. However, young Locke choosing wrongly was just a sign that he simply wasn't ready to come to the island yet. Not for many more decades. When Locke does arrive on the island as an older man, he finally demonstrates signs of being special. After being paralyzed for four years, he can now walk again. News of this miraculous healing travels to the others and gains Richard's attention once again. He knows that Ben's time as leader is over, hence why the island allowed cancer to form on Ben's spine. The time-traveling Locke of 1954 was right. It is his destiny to take over the position as leader of the others. His self-fulfilling prophecy is now undeniable. So, Richard helps Locke prove his worthiness to the others and demonstrate his commitment to the island, essentially by helping the man of faith cheat the process. Richard now believes enough in the myth of John Locke that he will not question Locke's specialness again. Even to the detriment of his own instincts and people. Meanwhile, the real John Locke had to go through hell in his life before reaching the island and finding his faith there. The very same faith that would lead him back to Richard. And back to the compass. And, ultimately, his own death. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to see more videos. Until the next time, stay lost.